Hi crew, the help here from Milestairs Wickshop, wickshop.com. Finally getting around to getting the YouTube channel up and running, so I figured we'd start up with something simple. And this is something we've had a lot of questions on, we've seen a lot of questions on, and we haven't seen a real good explanation on YouTube, or at least something that people can look at and see and understand so that there's no confusion. The difference between a center draft and a side draft lamp and it's it's not very subtle it, it is pretty obvious but there is some confusion because some side draft lamps a very few do have a circular wick most of them are a flat wick that run up through a u-shape or a v-shape channel the first one we're going to look at will be that little cosmos on the left the next will be the matador in the middle and then finally the american rail number two there and this is a little a little Cosmos 14 line. Uh, sorry, some of these are pretty dirty. These are three of the lamps that we use uh, fairly regularly. But you see in the bottom here, there's no hole for a draft tube. No air will come up through that. But the top of it, um, the center of the wick is hollow. And if we take off the flame gallery here and take a look, we'll see that there's a little, little V notch. Hang on, I'm going to see if we can unscrew the rest of it real quick. A little V-notch right here. And this is where the air comes in through the center of the wick to feed the inside of, of the flame. And that's how you get that nice bright flame is you've got a flat wick that's made round and it has air coming up through the inside and air coming through the outside and it burns all of the fuel nice and cleanly. And there you can see down in through the center of the draft tube through that V-notch. That is a side draft lamp. Another pretty good indication, um, if you unscrew this, uh, it's a Gerard, obviously, here made in France. If you unscrew this real quick and you take a look at the wick, the wick is flat and it runs up through that U channel, which forms it into a circle out of a flat wick. It runs up through those, um, through the two sides of the inner and outer wick tube and into a nice little circle and runs up and down. Just sort of forms itself right up. Nice and neat. Sorry, I get get it to to focus there and that's that's a basic side draft this is a cosmo style they're very popular there are a lot of them they've been around for a long time there's a lot of different makes and models pna made a few and this one's made by gerard in france so you can keep an eye out for those and, it, and if you're you know you're running around for junk shops and you see a gerard it you know take a look at it. it's a good chance it's a cosmos this is a matador so this is this is maybe sort of the next iteration um between a side draft and a, and a center draft and a lot of people will get tripped up see there's still no center draft tube but this one's got a flame spreader in the middle it sort of helps spread that flame out and spread the air out through the, the inside and the outside of the flame so you get a, a nice, clean, bright flame. You can see you can see the little air holes there. But if we take the flame gallery off again and take a look at the side of the burner, you see you've got a U-channel in there that allows air into the center and up through the center central column and into the side. So you can see my, my thumb making a shadow there. And this one's very much the same as the Cosmos. You've got a round wick on top which in reality is actually a flat wick that's run up through a U, a U-shaped channel in the bottom of the burner. In this case, it's got a little, a nice little thing there to hold the wick. And then the wick is formed into that round shape you have on top. This is, I, I think this is actually a 2L that we, we modified because these are a little thicker than, the, uh, than the, a lot of the Cosmos. And again, some of these are some of these are thicker. Some of them are thinner. Um, that's why we have a variety of wick sizes and thicknesses on both the websites, because there there are a wide variation of of wick sizes in both width and thickness. And last but not least, this is a a B and H number two. Some of you are looking at that and probably thinking that's a Rayo number two. Um, they are very very similar. Um, but you see again, we have a flame spreader. We've got a flame gallery has holes all through it. You're thinking, okay, well maybe this is a side draft too. But if we pop that flame spreader off and we take a look down the center, you can see all the way through to that that matador burner in the back. 
again from the bottom and uh, sorry please <laughs> just ignore the cobwebs uh, she needed a little more of a cleaning than I thought she did uh, you can see all the way through the center of that lamp where that that air is brought up through the fuel through the fuel tank I should say it's not brought up through the fuel through the fuel tank through the central draft tube which facilitates cooling of the fuel and keeps it from from variating uh, with the matadors and the cosmos you'll see the fuel will heat up and you'll have to turn them down constantly and the fuel will heat up and you'll have to turn it down again these these will maintain a constant fuel temperature so you'll have a constant burn rate and if you look on the inside here you see that um this is a newer style B&H number two with the wick riser in the flame gallery itself. You see the teeth there that and the uh, outer um, wick sleeve that that move it up and down. And another thing to look for when you're looking for these in hobby shops and secondhand stores is this this wick tube. You see the top there and the little hole. This top is nice and flat. That doesn't look like it's been cut or modified or ground. That's a good sign. And it's, it's also much taller than this crink in here, this little crimp. And if you get them, you start looking for them in secondhand stores or hobby shops or things like that, and you see a lamp that looks like that top of that draft tube has been cut on or worked on with some manner of tool, what you've probably got is a lamp that has been modified to be um, electric. What they would do is they would cut that draft tube, put a cork or something in there with a light bulb, uh, socket in it and you see here this is all nice and flat and, and almost even with the outer side and when we put the flame spreader back in there it's straight so that's something to keep keep an eye on if you see a draft tube like that it's way short weight down in there um, you've got a modified lamp and it's it's really not worth your time so anyways that's the difference uh, thanks for stopping by and hopefully we'll have a few more of these videos in the future to give you some idea of what um, you know, some of the other things you can look for and some of the other fun stuff in lamp and heater collecting. Thank you all and have a great day.